Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Tuesday, December 20th already, 2022. Stand up for your country. Well, this is the last broadcast of the year. Um, I got to give my squad some time off. We don't have reinforcements. Um, we're an independent news agency. Everybody works every day. It's not like, you know, somebody can go to Tahiti and I can just bring in people. So we're working pretty hard. I think you know that. Uh, I'm going to give everybody two weeks off and um, I hope they uh, aren't uh, arrested. And <laughs> no, it's a good crew. So this is our last broadcast of the year. Uh, I will be tweeting over the break a lot, keeping up with the news, and we'll have um, things on BillOReilly.com every day, new things that are fun. Remember, we have the crossword puzzles, and we have all kinds of flashbacks and things like that that are entertaining. So you learn and you have fun at the same time. But anyway, sign up at Bill O'Reilly. That's the tweet, at Bill O'Reilly. Musk hasn't bothered me. Uh, I don't expect he will. We use it more for information than to tear people to pieces. Uh, if I'm going to tear somebody up, I'm going to do it straight on. I'm not going to do tweet stuff. That's like behind the back stabbing. I don't go for that. Um, now, there's lots going on today on December 20th, particularly at the border. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So now the Supreme Court is involved. I suspected this would happen. So everybody in the country knows this is a catastrophe at the southern border. Our security has been compromised, a record amount of hard narcotics flowing in, millions and millions of foreign nationals um, being allowed to stay in America unsupervised. Everybody knows that, all right? Even President Biden knows it. The difference is President Biden does not care about this issue, about what's happening. It's obvious he doesn't. All right. But the Supreme Court, I believe, is pretty agitated about it. So Chief Justice John Roberts uh, extended Title 42. It was supposed to expire tomorrow. Now he's extended it. Now, what does that mean? So Title 42 gives the federal government the power to turn any migrant around who comes across the border without paperwork, without a passport, you can turn them right around and send them back to Mexico. It was a lot like Trump's remain in Mexico policy. But Title 42 is based on disease, COVID, and any other communicable disease. The government says, look, we don't know who these people are. We don't know where they come from. We don't know what they've been exposed to. So we can't let them in because they may infect Americans with COVID. That makes sense. That's Title 42. So a dopey federal judge suspended it. And now the Supreme Court has overridden that. So Roberts has, uh, has given the federal government, the Biden administration, which wants 42 to expire. This is just so insane. That's why I'm so frustrated reporting the story. Um, they've, he's given them um, to the end of today to file a counterclaim, and then Roberts will make a decision. But I suspect he's going to kick it to the full court for a uh, hearing which would then be in June, okay? Their, their decision would be in June. That's what I think is going to happen here. So the issue of Title 42 is in the hands of the Supreme Court, but it doesn't really matter because the Biden administration didn't send very many people back. They allow people in. And we went over this and over this and over this. I'm not going to go over it again, but the Biden administration refuses to enforce immigration law that was passed by Congress and signed by Ronald Reagan, I believe. He, he just won't enforce it. OK, now that in itself is not a crime. He can't be charged with a criminal act, could be impeached for failure to uphold the laws of the United States, which is his oath of office. OK, so now that's what's going on there. But here's how absurd it really is. For Almost a year, the corrupt corporate media tried to cover this story up, as they did with the Hunter Biden laptop. They didn't report on it much, but it's gotten so bad with state of emergencies in El Paso and Texas declared a state of emergency. So now the corrupt corporate media has to report on it. They have to. 
Now, as you saw yesterday, if you watched the No Spin News, ABC is blaming Republicans for this. I just believe it. Incredible, incredible. But yesterday, a Washington Post reporter asked Corinne Jean-Pierre about the border. Go. Uh, just a question on, on migration. The president uh, tasked the vice president with studying and working on the root causes of some of these issues. I'm wondering if there's any update from this side of the White House on what she's been doing and what she will continue to do as we're expecting an influx at the border. Well, after as, Wednesday. as you know, the president uh, appreciates the partnership that he has with the vice president. You're right. That has been her charge to uh, work in a diplomatic way on finding the root causes of, of, um, of migration. I uh, don't have anything to lay out specifically on what that work looks like. Uh, but again, we appreciate her partnership. Uh, and uh, I would probably f- uh, refer you to her office on anything specific on the work that she's doing. Now, how insane is that? So the president of the United States doesn't know, and of course doesn't care, what Kamala Harris is doing to get to the root causes of migration. Now, just think about it. Just step back and think about how incompetent this is that a president appoints a vice president. Oh, yeah, you go down and find out why this is all happening. And then what? A year later, almost a year later, he doesn't know. But he appreciates the partnership. What partnership? No partnership. She's not doing jack. I mean, this it's almost like a cartoon every day for me to report to you the reality of what's happening. It's almost like a cartoon. And it's not only uh, the border that Biden doesn't care about. He doesn't care about government spending. So under Biden, new spending, spending that didn't exist before he was president, is, stands at $3.37 trillion. A record. $3.37 trillion has been in office for two years. So why should you care? Well, that means that the money you have in the bank, in your wallet, under your mattress, wherever it may be, is worth less. Because Biden and the Treasury Department have to print money to cover the spending so that the money that's in play is less. So if you're going to buy a Van Gogh, there are only, what, a limited amount of Van Gogh paintings around. If suddenly there were a thousand Van Goghs discovered, then the value of the other Van Goghs would come down. You see? No, maybe you don't. I don't know. And does Biden care about $3.37 trillion in spending? No. I don't don't care at all. So that's two. Border, federal spending, slash inflation. As inflation goes up, the more money the government spends. And the third is violent crime. So listen, listen to this. $72 billion a year of taxpayer money is given by Washington to the states, the 50 states, to help with crime control. It's called block grants. And that money can be used for whatever the states want it to be. Okay, federal government doesn't have any say about how it's used. So $72 billion a year. And violent crime in most major cities is through the roof. Has Biden said anything about it? Not once. I haven't heard him say one thing. It's like, okay, here's your money, and we don't really care whether you're fighting violent crime or not, because they're not. They're not fighting violent crime. Does Biden care? No. So you say to me, O'Reilly, you you hate Biden. I don't hate Biden. This is not a hate Trump on the other side of the aisle. I don't. All right? I don't care about Joe Biden. I met him once. He was a standard politician. I had a nice little chat with him for about two minutes, and that was it. I don't care about him one way or the other. I will tell you that he is the second worst president in our republic's history. Okay? And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove that in, coming up in a, in a couple of minutes. Now, today, Joe Biden has nothing on his schedule. Oh, it's five days before Christmas. He has nothing. Usually they'll put something out, nothing, zero. Now, that tells me something's wrong because they usually fake it, but they don't have anything on a schedule at all. So is he sleeping all day? I don't know. 
If you are stuck in a timeshare and you haven't called Lone Star Transfer yet, what are you waiting for? Lone Star Transfer has helped more than 16,000 happy customers. They are family owned, have a 99% success rate. Their process is done legally, ethically, and quickly. I mean, does it get better than that? The team at Lone Star Transfer will keep you informed every step of the way until you are legally and permanently released from your timeshare. So don't pay another penny for a timeshare you don't use. Get peace of mind today with Lone Star Transfer. They guarantee the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. Give Lone Star Transfer a call for a free no obligation consultation. 855-551-7066, 855-551-7066 or online at LoneStarTransfer.com. Okay, let's go to the mail. Trisha Concierge member, the best Christmas gift. And you get it instantly if you buy a concierge membership for yourself or anyone else on your Christmas list. Get a free book, any book you want. Killing the Legends, of course, anything. So Trisha's a concierge member. She says 50 million illegals are here in the USA thanks to George Soros. Left as a machine uses a fist to threaten or bankrupt anyone standing in their way. Number one, Trisha, we love you. It's not 50 million. Okay, tops 20 million, probably 15. So when you want to win the argument, factual correctness is important. Phyllis, so much talk, discussion, criticism of Joe Biden's border policy, but nothing gets done ever. Simply cannot understand why more Americans do not take talk to their congressmen. You look, talk is cheap. Trump, in the Remain in Mexico policy, blunted it. Biden, as we went over, doesn't care. Leslie, concierge member. Thank you, Leslie. Hey, Bill, I just asked a friend, a Biden supporter living in Texas, if he thought there was a border crisis. He said it's no different than four years of Trump. I took your advice, just left the topic alone. People believe what they want to believe. Absolutely. So last year, Trump, about 750,000 encounters with the Border Patrol. Now it's up to two and a half million a year. Tell your friend. But he's not going to change his opinion. Patricia Hill, Jamestown, Pennsylvania. What happens when there's not enough of Tribe 1 to support Tribe 2 and the government? Is that the downfall of the USA? Okay, good question. Now, this goes to my column, The Rise of the Tribes, on BillOReilly.com. I hope you read it. All right. We are two separate peoples now, two tribes in this country. Tribe number one largely supports tribe number two. So Patricia says, well, what what happens when taxing them here, they can't tax them anymore? That's when the government comes in, like the Soviet Union, like China, like Cuba, okay, and takes over private industry. That's communism. So when, when taxation no longer can support most of the people who need entitlements, the government then nationalizes certain industries to get the money. That's what happens. Claudia, Martha Raddatz, ABC, want to make uh, the Republicans responsible for the crisis with illegal migrants like they're in charge of protecting our borders, not Joe Biden. Governor Abbott's responses to Raddatz were clear but a bit bureaucratic. Yeah, I would have been a little more militant had I been Governor Abbott when she came out with that. And again, we had that on the No Spin News last night. Uh, Kent Van Culler, Rye, New York. I agree with you, O'Reilly, that declaring homelessness a crime is the only way to stop the epidemic. Taxpayer money spent to jail. Vagrants would prevent crimes and the degradation of our cities. You got me all wrong. I don't want it to be a crime. I think that would never happen in this country and shouldn't happen. Absolutely not. My solution to the homelessness problem is therapeutic centers, not jails, not prison, not arrests. But if a drug addict is homeless and has a rap sheet selling narcotics, stealing, whatever, they can be deemed a danger to public safety and they can be removed to a facility for quote unquote evaluation, which can take as long as uh, 
the municipality deems is necessary. But I would never criminalize homelessness. That's not the way to do it. Therapeutic centers, okay, where the people get services, they get a roof, they get fed, but no drugs and no booze. So they're not going to want to go there. But that's the way to do it. Jane Yars, Weston, Massachusetts. Thank you, Bill, for your smart life tips. After hearing about the I-bonds, we looked into it. My husband and I each purchased the maximum amount. Thanks again for your smart life. Merry Christmas. So the I-bonds are there for you, 10000 minimum. Pay a great interest rates, guaranteed by the federal government. So if you got ten grand and you're, not, you're getting 2% in your bank, it's a year commitment, but you can, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with it. That was one of our best smart life tips. And a lot of people uh, went into it. Richard Swaffer, Montreal, Canada. My wife always laughs at me when I put on the Charlie Brown Christmas album. Uh, it reminds me of when I was a kid. My kids and I watched Charlie Brown Christmas every year. It's on, I think it's on Amazon now or something. I can't, I don't know, I can't figure all that out. I listened to the Charlie Brown Christmas album last night. I did. It's great. All right. And it, the jazz in that is fabulous. That kid's stuff. I mean, they have a kid's choir and stuff, but it's really, really good music. So you're smart to do it, Richard, up there in Montreal. OK, so um, we can still get you stuff from the BillOReilly.com Christmas store, but it's tight now. But as I said, the premium memberships and the concierge memberships, and that helps us so much. So if you know and like somebody and it's not that expensive and you get a free book, come on. And if you're not a premium member, listen to me on the radio on BillOReilly.com. I mean, ah, you, you can make your membership fee back a thousand times if you give presents to people because we have good and they're not political presents. They're none of that. They're just good stuff. But anyway, five days of Christmas. I mean, we can. You know, if you order today, uh, we can get it to you. Two days shipping. You got to pay for that, but we can get whatever you want. But I continue to believe that this uh, concierge membership uh, and premium membership is the way to go. Okay, Um, we have the word of the day: disputatious. (laughs) This is a great word. D i s p u t a. T-I-O-U-S, disputatious, do not be that. Um, So I have a little time to kill now, about a minute, before uh, we bring in Holly the Terror Dog, who's warming up in the bullpen over there. Unbelievable dog. Someday I'll really give you the skinny on on Holly the Terror Dog, but she wants her airtime for the last uh, broadcast of the year, and we will give it to her. But we are an independent news agency here, as I said at the top of the program. And um, we work hard, very, very hard. And we don't make mistakes. And that's amazing because I see mistakes every day. And by the way, I'm going to be on News Nation tonight. Uh, is a Cuomo promo. I'll be on with Chris Cuomo on Tuesday tonight. And I'm sure Trump's going to come up, by the way. And I'm ready. I'm ready because Cuomo's kind of obsessed with Trump. And I, it's going to be an interesting discussion. So that's at 8 p.m. Eastern, News Nation, and I will be there. But anyway, we really appreciate you guys uh, helping us out. And I'm going to take a quick break. And you got Holly ready? She'll be here in a moment. There is a concerted effort to intimidate and silence conservative thinkers, rewrite American history, and replace our God-given individual liberty with big government controls. The very freedoms secured by our Constitution are now being threatened by the most liberal leftists our nation has ever seen. They have failed to secure our borders, weakened our position on the global stage, are trying to indoctrinate and corrupt our children in school, and the list goes on and on. But there are plenty of patriots with the courage to stand up to the far left. AMAC. The Association of Mature American Citizens is the leading conservative advocacy and benefits organization in the USA. I am a member, and I hope you will join as well. 
AMAC members have access to money-saving benefits, a robust website, and mobile app, and a magazine filled with all kinds of great content. So please join AMAC today at amac.us and tell them O'Reilly sent you. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S. Okay, here's the final thought of the day. Holly the Terror Dog and I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. It's a cliche, but we do. Right, Holly? We wish you a Merry Christmas. Now, I want to show you the bribes that I have to give Holly to perform. This is chicken. Right, Holly? (laughs) And Holly would eat a thousand of them. No? No, you got to be good. You got to be good. All right. Look at the camera. There's treats in the camera. There's treats there. See, she knows. If you perform well, you get another treat. But this isn't good. You got to look at the folks. You got to. <laughs> now, corgis are from Wales, and they are sheep herding dogs. So uh, they domesticate well, but Holly's instinct is to uh, keep the sheep on the mountainside. <laughs> and so when you get her in a stationary position like this, this isn't like a little poodle. <laughs> this is a funny dog. But anyway, it's the last show for uh, 22. We got a big uh, year in 23 planned, right, Holly? Holly's seven now. He's seven year. You're seven, and she's a good dog, even though she's uh, you know moving around. She senses that treat coming after Holly. Oh, that's it. Got to be good. Senses that treat coming. So I want you all to have a very very nice rest over Christmas if you can. And don't forget, at Bill O'Reilly, we'll be tweeting a lot. Maybe some pictures of the Terra dog here. Right, Holly? Some pictures out of you. And we really appreciate you guys watching and listening. It means everything to us because we're an independent news agency. And without you, we're not on. So thank you very much. And we will see you on January 3rd, I believe. January 3rd, we'll be here. All right, have a great one. Say goodbye. (laughs) Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing, we all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust. American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532.